Hello Internet, welcome back to part 12 of I've Rented and Bought a Lot of Videos on My Time and I've Never Needed to Be Sure What the Movie Is Like, 2019 edition. Um, we're really getting quite close to the end of all this, but we've still got a lot more to go and there's some good shit in here. So, why don't we get a move on? So, the first one we have here is U571. Nine ordinary men are about to change history. This is an entertainment and video release from 2000, I think. This is, this movie is apparently horrifically historically inaccurate to the point where it was actually flagged up in Parliament. Tony Blair was like, yeah, no, this movie is horrifically inaccurate. Um, the real windows cracks, but I mean, the tape still plays fine, so no real issue there. Next one is Down To You with Freddie Prinze Jr. and Bay. If you love She's All That, this movie is for you, according to J17. A new comedy about giving first love a second chance. I don't think that's really how it works. Anyways, this is a Film 4 release from 2000, um, purchased December 23rd, 2000. Um, well, well, yeah, I don't really have a lot else to say about this because I've not seen it. Printed October 26th, 2000. Next one is Birthday Girl with Nicole Kidman and Ben Chaplin. Be careful what you wish for. Not available to view on TV or satellite for one year from release date. Gutted about that. Another film for release. This one's from 2002. And, well, yeah. Uh, this was printed October 30th, 2002. Next one is Spy Game with Robert Redford and Brad Pitt. It's not how you play the game, it's how the game plays you. This is yet, well, not yet. This is another entertainment video release, but this one's from 2002, purchased June 17th, 2002. I've seen this movie, it's, it's all right. Like, it's not the best movie around, but it's, it's a decent time, I suppose. Next one is Rush Hour 2, with Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan. Prepare for a second rush. Another entertainment video release, um, from, I think this is 2001 or 2, I can't remember. I've not seen any of these Rush Hour movies. I feel like I should probably give them a chance. Next one, speaking of Jackie Chan, we've also got First Strike. Jackie Chan fights for the world in his biggest action film ever. Yet another entertainment in video release. This one's from, I think, 1996. Um, that blockbuster label is fucked, look at that. that. That's impressive dedication, where they can actually keep the foundations of the sticker on, but the actual sticker just rip it completely off. I'm impressed. Hold on. Next one is K-Pax, with Nonce and Jeff Bridges. He says he's from the planet K-Pax. You'll want to believe him. This is a Film 4 release. From 2002, in some sort of conjunction with Path A, I guess they were the people that produced it. Um, Universal also released it in some capacity. And coming soon to rent, Crush, in what I think is the laziest end label I've ever seen. This is one of the trailers. Next one is Poltergeist 3. Hey, he's founder! This is the NGM UA home video release from 1980 bollocks. 1980 bollocks, that's a new one. 1989, this was the last movie of the girl that was in it. She died of a heart attack while post-production was happening. Comes in an MGA movie and video on Boss Case. And like they do, the trailers are listed on um, the sticker label, which are Tucker, The Man in His Dream, Face of Beauty, Matawan, Some Girls, and A Fish Called Wanda. And it's got the little security sticker there. There we go. Next one is Wise Guys. What kind of guys gamble with the boss's money, swipe a killer Cadillac, and party on the mob's credit card? This is another MGM UAM video release, but this one's from 1986. As you can tell, it's got a quite early label there. No one boss case, which kind of sucks, and a white tip guy. So with the security sticker though. Next one. I was saying in the last part how I had a shit ton of Warner Home videos. We've still got an absolute shitload here. First of which is The Art of War with Wesley Snipes. Do you know who your enemy is? I sure as hell don't. I'd really like to know. This is, well, like I said, a one home video release. This is from 2000. 
and well yeah uh, the music's dying down there we go next one is where the money is with Paul Newman Linda Fiorentino and Delmut Moroni another con another sting another day a stroke of genius one of the best according to curse newspaper it's from 2001 this was purchased May 8th 2001 and I'm not entirely sure what the deal is with Warner Brothers in different colored cases. This one's blue, which I'm, I've not seen the movie, but maybe it makes some kind of sense there. Next one is Final Destination 2. You can't cheat death twice. It's not over yet. A slash above the original, according to Gammons Incorporated. And bloody good fun, a rip-roaring reprise, according to the Daily Star. Deathiscoming.com. <laughs> End statement of video release from 2003. I've not seen this, but... Oh, I've not seen any of the Final Destination movies. Comes in an embossed case of whoever these people are. Come on, video box office, sort your life out. And this... Is that a print day on it? That date is... July 6th, 2003. Next one is... Good Boy! This year, Earth is going to the dogs. This is an MGM release from 2004. I've not seen this movie, but if it's got a lot of dogs in it, the chances are I'm gonna love it, because, you know, who doesn't love dogs? And it comes with the Funky Fresh Black Reels. And, yeah. Next one is Swordfish, with John Travolta, Hugh Jackman, Halle Berry, and Don Cheadle. Password accepted. The blockbuster that has everything. I've seen this movie, and it really doesn't. It's, it's okay, it's a bit steep, it's from 2001, but purchased um, April 15th, 2002. The best um, review I saw of this was a parody poster on the Empire forums that said, Admit it, you heard Halle Berry gets a baps out, which is accurate. Next one is Free to Tango, with Matthew Perry, Neve Campbell, Dylan McDermott. It's fab, seriously funny, according to Bliss. This is from 2000. Sexy Matt Perry is a real bonus, according to... That's cheating. Is that the only good review they could find? Pretty sure there was another video I had that did that. Ow. Come on. Motherfucker. Next one is Red Planet, with Val Kilmer, Carrie Ann Moss, and Tom Sizemore. Gripping sci-fi thriller, according to the Times. This one is from 2001. Entertaining visual treat, according to the Sunday Times. The effects are out of this world, according to Star. I've not seen this movie, but I've heard it's not meant to be very good. But I suppose I should give it a shot before dismissing it like that. Next one is Frantic with Harrison Ford, a nonce movie. This, one, this is from 1988. Yeah, 1988. Um, I think it's blue. I think that's what this is one of the earliest instances of Warner Home Video doing this. There were a few tapes from 1988 and 89 that had that were different colours. This is blue. I think there was something that was grey. Moving is gold. I'm not entirely sure why. But yeah, that's some anti-piracy measure. Next one is Ghost Ship. See evil. We'll scare you shitless. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Um, this is from 2003. Thumpingly scary. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. And there's two quotes from the Mail on Sunday. Again, they're cheating. Blue tape, um, because this is around the time where they started doing it. Next one is Slam Dance with Tom Holtchie, Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio, Virginia Madsen, and Harry Dean Stanton. The picture was murder. The frame was perfect. This is a Palace premiere release. This is from 1988. For some reason, I have absolutely no clue why, this has a blank BBFC card on it. Like, you know, the one, but there's no saying this is to certify or anything like that. No title. It's just everything is blank. I have no idea why. And this happens a lot on Palace videotapes. They're weird. Next one is This Year's Love 
with Kathy Burke, Jennifer Eel, Ian Hart, Douglas Henschel, Catherine McCormick, Doug Ray Scott, and Emily Woof. Your pad or mine? This is an entertainment and video release from 2000. I've had this movie for so long since my massive car boot, and I still have no idea what it's about, which is, you know, a good sign. Next one is Maximum Risk with Jean-Claude Van Damme and Natasha Henstridge. The nearer he gets to the truth, the closer he gets to the edge. This is an Irish copy. This is the Columbia TriStar from video release from 1997. There's not really much difference with the Irish copies, except it doesn't have the, um, the, um, the VSC warning, obviously, because they don't have that. And there's no, like, specific label, they just have to stick on whatever that is. But it's still got the BBFC, um, content advisory on there. Next one is Gothica, with Halle Berry, Robert Downey Jr., and Penelope Cruz. Because someone's dead doesn't mean they're gone. This is another Columbia Tri-Star release. This is Home Entertainment, and this is from 2004. And you can tell it's late because it's when they started putting the actual modern 15 certificate on there. Next one is Fools Rush In with Matthew Perry and Salma Hayek. What if finding the love of your life meant changing the life that you loved? This is another Irish copy, as you can tell from the fact that the 12 certificates are just stickers. And this is yet another Columbia TriStar release. And yeah, you can see the 12 certificate is still on there. And, well, fuck end labels, I guess. Next one is The Winter Guest with Phyllida Law and Emma Thompson, a film by Alan Rickman. I actually did not know he directed this until right now. This is the Film 4 release from 1998. Public Information Service. Um, I don't know why this is on there. It's not, um, it's, it's not a demo tape. There's not really any need for it. And this case is a bitch in three quarters, but I got it open somehow. Next one is She's All That, with Freddie Prinze Jr., Rachel Lee Cook, Matthew Lillard, Paul Walker, Jody Lynn O'Keefe, Kevin Pollack, Usher Raymond, Lil' Kim, and Anna Paquin. A new comedy that proves there's more to attraction than meets the eye. This is another Film 4 release. This one's from 1989. It's late enough so that they've got um, the specific running time on there for some reason. I still have no idea why it's that. Fast forward video films, Edinburgh's quality video stores. Please rewind the tape. Printed November 9th, 1999. Next one is Holy Smoke with Kate Winslet and Harvey Keitel. Journey into temptation, but be sure you know your way back. I'm really bad with directions. I'm going to get lost again. This is yet another Film 4 release. This one's from 2000, I think. And this is printed August 16th, 2000. Next one is Firelight with Sophie Marceau and Stephen Dillane. Love and Romance, Forbidden by Honor. This is a Hollywood Pictures Home video release from 1999. I've just realized the music I have playing now is also the music I had playing in the update where I got this. I have no idea how I remember that, but you know, shit happens. Um, next one, these are all Warners. These next ones. First is Matrix Reloaded. A, well, duh, one of them being released from 2003. I don't have the Matrix Revolutions, but considering how I've heard that movie is, I don't think I want to. Next one, I had Police Academy 2 in another part. Now I've got Police Academy 6, City Under Siege. The grads are going undercover in the city to unmask the mastermind of crime. Somehow, I don't think they're gonna be able to do that. Anyways, this is from 1990. No, 1989. Um, it's got all the standard funky anti-piracy measures that you would expect from a Warner Home video release at the time. Next one is the Delta Force 3, The Killing Game, with Nick Cassavetes, Eric Douglas, Mike Norris, Matthew Penn, and John Ryan. Explosive entertainment all the way, according to screens. Well, this is Canon Video, but you can tell it's still distributed by Warner considering all the shit it has. It's quite interesting how it's got the shield there, but none of the other shit below it. Not a clue why. 
and it has some of the anti-piracy measures. It's got the gold um, thing, the security sticker, and the other security sticker, but no blue tape guard or anything like that, which is, I find is a bit weird. Next, this is a very interesting one. This is the Company 2, um, but it comes in this X rental box. I have... Oh, it's Blockbuster, duh. It's, I, this is the only video I have which has a box like this. Purchased July 11th, 1986. And I never went to Blockbuster while they actually did this. Well, duh, because it was back in the day. Um, comes with all the security measures except... I mean, I'm going to assume the shield is embossed there, but it's covered up by the Blockbuster sticker. And, oh yeah. Next one is Buffalo Soldiers with Danny Glover. A moving, majestic, eye-opening treasure of a film, according to Newsday. This is a TV movie, and it's also, I suppose, meant to be an Irish copy. But there's a bit of a discrepancy. It's an 18 in Ireland, but it's a 15 here. And also not to be confused with the Buffalo Soldiers of... This, the other Buffalo Soldiers, which has Joaquin Phoenix in it, and was released in 2003 by Pafé. Next one is The Man He Knew Too Little with Bill Murray. He's on a mission so secret, even he doesn't know about it. This is from 1998 as well. Purchased July 26, 1999. I love how I opened the case on time with the music there. I don't know. I get excited about stuff like that. I'm weird. Um, yeah. Next one is You've Got Mail with Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. From the director of Sleepless in Seattle, it makes sense that the stars of Sleepless in Seattle are also in it. This is from 1999, but purchased March 20th, 2000. I haven't seen this movie, but I've seen Sleepless in Seattle, and that's a great time. So this probably should be as well. And it's got a reversible cover, which is... Well, it's... I mean, it's completely different, and it's horizontal. But the, but the back cover is exactly the same, which makes sense, I suppose. Next one is Lethal Weapon 4, with Mel Gibson, Danny Glover, Joe Pesci, Rene Russo, Chris Rock, and Jet Li. Get ready to get lethal. This is from 1998. Um, this, if you have this or any video version of Lethal Weapon 4 that was released in this country, do not watch it. It has a minute and a half missing from it that was removed to get, an eight, to get a 15. I think it's uncut now on Blu-ray. It was, it was never resubmitted. But I think they sort of just, you know, assumed they could and released the uncut version on Blu-ray. And the final video that we have today is The Bridges of Madison County with Clint Eastwood and Meryl Streep. Um, I've not seen this movie, but it's supposed to be really, really good. And the book as well, purchased um, May 19th, 1997. And I think it's, it's a quite late, like, Cheesy Shield release. Which is printed August 31st, 1996. And that is it for this part. We're really getting close to the end of these. Um, I've still got some proper corkers left to show you. I'll see you then.